Hi guys, welcome back to or welcome to my channel if you're new. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get a washi tape effect on this paint. Usually you don't see washi tape effects in digital art, which is a shame because it is really pretty. And if you don't know what washi tape is, it is a special type of, of tape that artists use and put on paper to colour in areas and then cut the bits that shouldn't be coloured. It's a really cool effect and super, super pretty. And there's a way to do it in a best paint too. So first, what you're going to want to do is get some line art. You can draw some yourself now, but I've imported some transparent line art here of an old drawing. And you're going to want to make a layer underneath it, otherwise it will not work. So a layer underneath that line art. And then you go up here to the images button. There are a bunch of different ones that are all super nice, but the ones that are most effective for washi tape are the cloth patterns, Japanese texture, and the patterns ones. The grey ones are also super nice, but the coloured ones tend to work better. Of course you can use any pattern that you want, you could even use a background if you wanted to, it depends on what you're doing. Go crazy with whatever you want, you know? So I'm just going to get one of the cloth patterns here and scroll down to more washi tape like ones. Of course, it's not going to look exactly like washi tape because it isn't exactly washi tape, but it will give the same kind of effect. I'm going to go for this right here, you just press the cloud icon and then it will download. And then place it onto there. You can make it as large or as small as you want. I'm going to go with this. And you can also alter it. You can squish it or stretch the singular pattern in perspective. And with mesh, you can alter the look of it too, but I don't want that to happen, I just want it to be nice and normal and unedited. So we're going to press the tick, and now that we've done that, you're going to figure out which area that you want the washi tape effect to be on. I want it to be on the clothes, so I'm going to make a little barrier around the clothes area and erase everything else. So I've just finished erasing all the other parts. This is the washi tape effect and it is super pretty. Make sure that when you erase it's on the right layer because if you do it on a different layer that would absolutely suck. If you want this part here to look a bit different since it's folds in the clothing, you can erase it and then add another layer of washi tape which is what I'm going to show you how to do now. So let's just Erase this part here. Now what you can do is make another layer underneath the washi tape one and then go and get the same one that you used or a different one, it's your choice really. So we're going to get this here and we're going to twist it a bit like that and then press tick and then once again we're going to erase everything that isn't this little ruffle here and I've just finished doing that it's a different effect not necessarily better or worse but I think that it is quite nice of course you don't have to do that it's just an extra thing that you can do you can choose to shade it or to not, I personally would shade it because I just enjoy shading in general. And then you just go about colouring the rest of the drawing normally, unless you want to do more washi tape effects. Hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, maybe consider leaving a like, comment or maybe subscribing. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all soon, bye!